What's up? I'm sorry for the delay. I'm doing this through OBS. Now, I normally do this when I'm streaming for gaming. So I figured I'd give it a shot uh, doing it for the live stream for here. So it was weird and like super duper delayed. Then I'm not going to keep y'all a little too long. <laughs> All right, so just to show what we got going on here, I'm doing the show in the camera view pretty good. There we go. That should be all right. So in our box, and I think some of you guys might have seen this um, on my Instagram post, but we do have some jigs from All American Tackle. And this is the Rhode Island Wrecker, which I like to use with the stinger hook. Some people think it's cheating, but it's okay. Then we got a whole bunch of salvage jigs. You'll see those in those red packages. Then we got some JM jigs. And these were in the video I just posted where he caught that pool fish on that jig. And then we got some Mike from Shark Bites jigs. That's from Brinkman's Tackle in Philly for all you Philly guys. And then we got some Johnny's shakes as well. So, you guys who like the talk should be pretty good to go. And it's in a brand new Plano tackle box as well. So, thank you for confirming chat is working. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so the way I'm going to do this here, I'm going to... Pull this up real quick. Fun little uh, technical things here. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use this YouTube comment picker. Pretty simple. All I'm doing is I'm put, I put the YouTube uh, URL from the video in from this one here. Took out the duplicates. We're gonna remove the winner from the list after the draw. And then boom. Now, most of you guys, like if I see your name, you've been commenting on videos, pretty simple. If it's somebody that I don't recognize, like has not been active and it's a new subscriber, I might have to have you confirm that you are subscribed with a little screenshot or something like that through Instagram. But that's the way that I'm gonna reach out. So once I pick this name, I'm gonna, you know, again, announce it, post it on Instagram as well, and then post it in the description of this video. You have 24 hours to get back to me. Um, my email address for those guys, I know there are some folks that don't really do the social media, is phillygirlfishing at gmail.com. So email you me your information, and then I can mail this out to you and hopefully get to you pretty quickly, depending on uh, the shipping service and how far you are away. All right, so let's do it. Gotta love security capture. Eighty-five unique comments. All right, all right, all right. Looks like we have Big Vince as being the winner. You are on fire. Nice. So, Big Vince, my guy, I need you to reach out to me via either Instagram, again, Philly Girl Fishing. Or to my email, phillygirlfishing at gmail.com, so I can get your address, your name, ship this nice, beautiful box out to you. So again, you get this nice husky Plano box with all these tall jigs for you guys to use. So I'm really hoping that you put that to good use and that you can enjoy it. I am going to minimize this here. That we have a little better view of what's going on. And I'm going to go back to our chat window. And see if... Uh, I can see any of you guys' comments there. Alright, so let me just shout out everybody who's here. What's up, Tommy? And thank you for sharing that latest video. I appreciate you. Um, we got Greg. I know Greg's been posting a lot and commenting a lot. Eric, my dude, what's up? 
thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that that latest vid. Whew, I mean, it, to go from seventeen keepers in one day to to two was a pretty big jump. But you know, it comes with fishing. And what's going on? What's going on, Carl? All right. Okay, you signed back on the site, and then and then the chat was working. Awesome. Good to see. Good to see. And what else we got going on here? All right. Yeah. Thank you for sending those congrats to Vince. So, yeah, man, I plan on doing more of these things too. Like once we get to 5,000 subscribers, you know, there's going to be another giveaway. I'm probably going to do something a little bit bigger. Might be thinking like a reel. You know, we, we get up to 10K, then I can do some bigger stuff and give away a combo. So, I just want to say that I don't want to say on here too long and drag it out, but I do want to say y'all are the bomb. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the support and for watching those videos. Um, yeah. So the next video that's going to be coming out is a video from Sunday where we had three double digits come up in like five minutes. So that's going to be, it's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. That was like, I've had some pretty good trips in uh in rhode island i have to say i have to say so you know as long as these upcoming trips that i have for the next four weeks i have some trips kind of sprinkled in and out um up till january as long as they don't get blown out um i have a, a, a supposed to be going on a sea bass trip this weekend but i have a feeling it's just not going to happen so we shall see we shall see but yeah man um everybody keep fishing Vince, congratulations again. And uh, yeah, 24 hours to reach out to me, dude. And if not, I'll pull another name. That's that's kind of how that goes. Um, but I hope that he does respond and get back to me and we should be good to go. Yeah, yeah, Carl, within five minutes. Um, whew, I don't even... I was like, man, and I, I was bummed. So it was funny. I went back through the footage. I was starting to, to sort through it now. And I realized that uh, I mixed up when I was talking on the live stream about when I caught that five, six pounder. Immediately when the, the three double digits came up within that five minutes, then the eight pounder came up. I had a fish on. It was a foul hook porgy. Yeah, that was the one that I got in the middle of all of that. Um, I did end up getting that five, six pounder a few minutes later, but what can you do? What can you do? Let me just say, I'm, I'm getting there. I, I'm definitely, I'm getting to practice. I'm learning different techniques and, and watching guys that can fish. So hopefully I get a chance to get on, you know, another Rhode Island trip before, before December is over and one more shot at them. But if not, there's always next season. There's always next season. Yeah, yeah, Tommy. The rain, the rain doesn't bother me too much in the cold. That's definitely not pleasant. Like even um yesterday when I went out yesterday in Delaware, it started as a 55, 60 degree day and it felt warm, but as soon as it started raining, oh boy. Oh, I got cold really really quickly and actually had to pull out those uh hot hands. So, whew. I am I'm excited for warmer weather. I will say that. The only reason why the winter time has become a lot easier to kind of deal with has been talk fishing no doubt but all right i'm not going to stay too long i just want to come in here do this live stream real quick i do want to give y'all the heads up that when i stop fishing like it's probably going to be mid-january or so um i will pop on here occasionally and try to start doing some more live streams talk gear um, talk about knots, show you guys the knots that I'm tying, things like that, that I'm learning, um, tying rigs, because that is an art within, in, in of itself for sure. So, you know, okay. Fish Rockland County. Cool, cool, cool. And you say, Eric, you jealous? <laughs> oh man, listen, no need to be jealous, man. That's why, I, that's why I'm recording these, these trips. So you guys can live vicariously through me the way that I'm living vicariously through the folks that are fishing in uh, Aruba and Costa Rica. Come on, somebody. I need some warm weather. So, you know, I'm trying I'm trying to make that happen next year. See if I can get on, like, some type of exotic vacation or rock and fish in warmer weather. Because, 
your girl doesn't like the cold like at all but making it happen but all right fishing family i just want to bid y'all adieu have a good night stay warm stay healthy all that good stuff and if you can't get out on the water Tag me in some pictures. DM me some pictures on Instagram. I, I love to see people catching fish. I don't, it doesn't even always have to be me. Just send, send, you know, get those posts up. You know, let people know what's going on. So, and let me know where the bite is hot. So maybe I'll travel there next time. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Have a very good night. Until next time.